This note is about GPS week, why we uh, we need to use GPS week, and why we need to know about GPS week, how to download the IGS GNSS product from internet, and um, how to, because we need them to use with the data processing of uh, post-processing for GNSS data, such as RTK Leaf, or other software such as Postpack, or many other software. And um, if you are in Australia, how you can download the freely available GNSS course observation data in Australia. Um, the first thing is what is GPS week? So um, GPS week is actually something that we can, this is a definition of, I'm not sure it's a definition of GPS week, but what I understand is that uh, the GPS week is the, um, it start, the GPS, uh, a GPS week start from so I understand that the, uh, the clock of the satellite reset every single week. So that's why GPS week is very important. And GPS week start from beginning of Sunday and it end uh, at Saturday of the same week. So in a week we have six days or seven days. Um, the day one is going to be Sunday. Uh, day zero is going to be Sunday. Then we have Monday is day one, Tuesday is day two, Wednesday is day four, Thursday is uh, day five, Friday is day six, and Saturday is day seven. So we start from Sunday, we finish at Saturday. That is a GPS week. But and if we don't know about GPS week, we just search online. But uh, so how to get the information about GPS week. So um, to get the information about your GPS week, I just can type in GPS week on Google. And of course there are so many sources of information about GPS week, but one of the sources is very helpful, which is GPS calendar from National Geodetic Survey, NOAA, the US. So if I get to this website, I can see here uh let's say website is dedicated about gps week and it's really really helpful so i can check the gps week of every single day from 2006 to 2002 to 2021 i'm not sure that i can check the gps week for the previous day maybe from other website but for my study and my work from 2006 2021 is good enough so for example it I want to know what is the GPS week for today. I can go to my day here and today is, I'm not sure why it has some, my calendar has some Chinese character here. So um, today is Saturday uh, 9th of October 2021. See, so I go to Saturday the 2021 here and I go to today, October the 9th of October. 2021. I can have the GPS week for the day is 2178. If we can see here inside the same the same page here, we can also see the Julian day for today, which is 282. So we are on 282 in uh, 365 day of this year already. So this is GPS week 2178, and this is Julian day. So that is the way that we can uh, get the GPS week for any day that we want to check. But the question is why we need to know GPS week. So um, in order to know about the GPS week, GPS week is, is crucial and very important for GNSS data post-processing. Why? Because uh, I think the satellite clock is resetting every single week so if we select the wrong week the processing and observation is, is not correct and if we want to download the orbit correction uh, satellite in, in, in ionosphere correction GPS uh, precise clock from IGS uh, services we need to know about GPS week for example if we go to if we go to uh, this website here which is uh, IGS uh, products so we can download the IGS product from here are the different location that I can download the IGS product from um, from from different website it can be from uh, NASA uh, government it can be from different websites so I'm gonna go to different website here so firstly go to NASA archive GNSS product so when I go to this website, which is Earth Data, I need to actually, um, if I go to Earth Data here, I need to actually create a, an account. And then um, with that account, I can uh, log in and then can download data. And inside here, 
I can go to find data, I'm not sure. That, that's what I'm looking for. I think it should be in data. It's not, um, we can download data, Earth observation data here. But what we are looking for is we are looking for GNSS observation data. So it's not in this one. So basically it's in here. So if we just right click here and we go to this address, it will bring us to, so the address is NASA Archive GNSS product. We'll go to here. And in this folder, the content of this folder, the data is of kind using GPS week. So for example, I just checked from NOAA website that uh, this GPS week for this day, or uh, for today, for today is uh, 9 of, uh, 9 of, no, October. So the GPS week for today is, oh, I need to check it. Not, not, not today. Our GPS week for today is 9 of October here. It's 2178. So 2178, I'm going to need to find 2178. So here is the GPS week for today. So if I go for today here, I can find some of the, I find the, all the GNSS product relate to a GPS positioning system in here. So normally I can find the date. So it's going to be 2021, 10, uh, 9 not yet available because I, I think it's too early now to download for today so I need to go back one day maybe I need to uh, get the data for the previous week which is um, this week so let, let's say this week but for Wednesday so Wednesday is the 6th of October so this week is actually 2178 2178 and I want to search for not today but today is for Saturday uh, yesterday is uh, it's 9 Saturday 8 so I want to look for Wednesday which is 6 of October so Wednesday is Wednesday is 6 of October I'll type in 6 here so we can see here that I found 21 product I can download relating to the orbit clock and all the other clock here um this is uh, very convenient because I can download all the related um, the site, time, uh, GPS time, and families, and all other very, uh, very helpful for the sign point positioning, post processing data later. So to download this, I just right click and save as, and put in a location. So this is, I think this is more accurate and quicker to download this way instead of using the software to download itself. Uh, based on the previous note, I know that um, we can download it using Postpack MMS but sometimes um, the product cannot be downloaded directly from Postpack MMF for some reason uh, for all the maybe they change the website address and my software not so updated so that's the reason that sometimes the download cannot be done it all it's always working for the the product that provided by Trimble but it's not always working for the product provided by other uh, GNSS services such as GPS, Kronos, Galileo or other website. So this is why we need to know GPS week to correctly download the data for the day that we need to to, to do for our post processing of our GNSS data. That is the first website that we can use to <coughs> download the GNSS data. The second website that I want to try, which is this website. So let's close this for less. Uh, let's close this for the report. Close this, close this, close this. So this is one of the websites very important. The second website that I want to try, which is uh, ENSEIGN. Uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe for uh, uh, Gary Leo. If it's not working, I'm going to open this side. So this side is uh, an FTP. So for the FTP is not working this way, you can um, add an FTP side. So that we, we, we already answer why we need to, uh, we need the GPS week. Next, we can look at how to uh, download IGN GNSS product. Already did that. Next, we're going to look at how to download um, other GNSS product using FTP if required. So in this case, we're going to look at, if we go to this website, it does not respond it. So how we can get the data from this website. So one of the way that we can do, which is we can go to this PC here, go to computer and we add a network location. So in here, we're going to go next. 
we go next and we put in the address to that location here so it need to have ftp and then uh, colon and then forward slash and then rgs and then another address and next and we can log in uh, anonymously so we can say product on that and then go for that and finish this so after we finish this we should have uh should open here for us so here i can open this so this is a way that i can access this using ftp asset ftp asset so in here for example i want to get the um data for uh, 2021 october uh the 6th so the first step i want to do is i want to check the gps week for this day uh, again to do that i go to um, NOAA gps week website and um, i go to because it's 2021 and i go to october here and the day is six so the gps week is here which is 2178 and i also want to check uh, what is the julian day for this day as well the julian day for this day which is wednesday which is 279 of 2021 that is the first step the second step is that i need to add the ftp site to my window explorer using this address here i did it already uh, by just go to home and then um, my, my computer and add a new uh, internet address so now i already connect to that in here which is in uh, IGN products here so now i can go to the gps week which is 2178 because the data is organized using gps week so if i don't know gps week i cannot find the right data for the right day so here i have 2178 i can just going down going down looking for 2178 should be somewhere down there 2178 yeah so it's actually the latest week because i choose the day within this week and today and wednesday is the same gps week so the day here is 2178 here so i can just open that and what i have inside here is this one so how i can download uh, the data for the day so the data here which is for the whole week so how can I know which day is for? I'm not sure, but they have the number there. Um, the view is says the detail there. So it, it's, I'm not sure the data, it, how, how the data is organized. It's not by day. Actually, it's not by day. Trail? No. What does it mean for... So this is uh, 2178. That's correct. But what does it mean by 4? Okay. So I can guess that 21780. That, mean, that means Sunday. Here I can have some of the note here. 2178 Monday 2. So I'm looking for Wednesday. Which is 21783. So what I'm looking for which is uh, 21783. Which is all I'm looking for. Need to be start from the beginning and the end and i have this all the product relating to that particular day so i just can download this all product and put in a folder by just copy and paste into the folder and then i can wrap all it in the data processing that i use it can be uh, you can test this which file is usable and which file is not by reading the information a bit i think not that is actually the um, zip format and um, i know which one is which and i can put it all and i can use it so um, i'm going to try to post processing data using ppp for the next to show you to the next notes about how to use each data but this is the way that i can connect to e and sg I'm not sure uh, this data is GPS or Galileo or Corona, but that is uh, one source of information that I can get data from. I think E and S, I'm not sure. The next one I can go to, which is another FTP website. So I can do the same thing. I can go to this folder, uh, computer, at the network location. I do the same there. It will take a while for processing that and product from GNS in. Is this the same? This is uh, friends. This is international. I think so. So go for the international one. After I click on that, it will open a new folder here for me. And because I know the GPS week is this, I just search for the GPS week. And inside here, I know the day, which is this day. 
but it needs to be start from the beginning and the end so I have the data for the day so this is super super quick and easy to get the data uh, for the for the day the next one which is from uh, other sources I'm not sure they are the same I think they are the same I think so I think they are the same it's it just uh, they are just storing from different sites in France in um, ESA and at University of uh, Luxembourg but they are the same I believe so some store more information some store less information but basically we have different sites to access post-processing data in the set product so the same here if I want to connect to this FTP address I just go to my computer here at a network location and then continue paste the address into here I just paste the address into here and hit next and then log in, uh, log on anonymously, anonymously, and then say product on Luxembourg University, and it will open a folder here for me. The same way to look for data, I have the uh, GPS week, uh, 2178, which is the GPS date, and then I have the day. Okay, it's just a lot of data here. So we can see that uh, this store more data, pretty much the same as here, this store less data. So that is a way that we can download your NADS product from different sites. So that is for the international. How uh, and that is for the international, and that is for the I think the op GPS orbit or GPS clock or ephemeris or um, like uh, ionosphere model correlation when we do PPP beside point positioning post processing using RCT leaf or other software such as Prospect. But how about if we are in Australia and in Australia we have a coast network a coast network in Australia in Australia so the network in Australia it looks like this this is a coast network in the whole of Australia this is, this is called the first scope the NSS network so to access this network we need to go to the website so the website is actually in here I already have the website I think so should be somewhere here this is not this is a Phoenix smart base uh, so by the way I have uh, one month trial to use the uh, Phoenix smart base online processing on the cloud software it's actually similar to post back but it's an online version so it's run on a server and it's always we always have access to the latest software we don't need to buy we just I think it's just a great way and then I think um, by the way I talk a little bit about this it's just a note for me that for example if I am working for the survey company and uh, I don't have access to post pack as a permanent license or dongle I can buy the assets or subscription to a Spanish smart base online using their maybe monthly subscription or one-time subscription and I can use it for my project everywhere in the world because they can it's very smart software it uh, it will know all the course location in the area it will know all the um, and it can provide that location and, and it, it have to pro have, have us to process the um, you know, static positioning or mobile positioning data online and then we can download as uh, aspect output file and then we can use this for other post processing software such as carries or uh, camera or other software so this is helpful I actually didn't have um, full experience with this because my survey area is not situated under an area that there are so many coast station points so I cannot use a smart bay or network based RDK I can only use single base RDK but the result is pretty good um, if I want to use network based RDK I have to register subscription to a local uh, RTK network such as uh, RTK Nestwest in Western Australia or any other services around Australia and in the world but when I compare the result using single base for example using uh, Hillary One base station freely available from uh, the outside Australia website or Perth One also freely available from the outside Australia I get the same result so um, sorry for the distraction but it's good because it's not for myself so I can come back later when I need it so what I need to do is I need to get access to the UNSS data repository uh, from the outside Australia so this is the um, location that I can get this asset to so this is in Australia I can put this in here 
So if we are in Australia, we can use FTP server or SFTP server. So they have a note here that the FTP server is inherently insecure. The server FTP server will be decommissioned on 30 June of 2020. That means we want us to use SFTP server uh, for this one. But uh, I add the FTP server here inside my computer, which is the SFTP. It's not, not this one. I think this one. So this one is working, but when, when I add the SF TV server, it's not working. So remember that when I add this address, I need to put in FTP uh, forward slash like this. When I uh, when I do when I do that, I think I can have the properties of that one here. That one here, which is FTP uh, colon forward double forward slash, and then the address to the location. I just do that, and I can have access to um, to the data here. So I can access to daily, to uh, high rate, and to hourly. So they have a description here about uh, about the data. So they have uh, daily 30 second uh, data, hourly 30 second data, and high rate data. And um, they are all in uh, Rhinox format. And the, the um, daily will be permanently uh, store on a repository forever and it's a freely open access to everyone hourly and high rate I think it will be only store inside the website for a certain amount of time I'm not sure how long it is I need to check it uh, yeah there's very little information about that but it doesn't matter but I think that the same as other uh, other GNSS services uh, globally um, it only store the high rate and hourly uh, for certain amount of time and I don't really need the high rate and hourly I just need the daily because um, maybe the hourly or high rate data is helpful for someone that doing very high accurate survey and the, the survey section is very short term like maybe a drone flight so they need very high accurate and short term so they need high rate uh, GPS GPS base station data and I, I think high rate will provide better correction but for hydrography survey application as what I'm doing, I don't need the high rate, I just need the daily. So let's say inside daily here, I will have um, the data is organized from 1993 to 2021. So if I want to access the day which is called, so in Australia, the course network data will organize, for example, daily data will organize by year and then Julian day because I know that uh, for Wednesday this week the Julian day is 279 so I just go to 279 which is here and I have the data inside here and then inside here there will be all the data will be inside here will be all the course uh, station inside Australia so there are so many stations and if I go to this website or the um, course network any other um i think yelp because yelp science australia course network uh i don't know i need a map i need a map station and map there yeah, i know okay yeah it's a KML file here, so I can find a KML file from Yosan Australia station coordinates and maps. And I can download, uh, somehow I can download this file. Maybe the, the file word doesn't allow me to download this. I can say the link as definitely it will allow me to. Oh no. If it's not, I will go to use the uh, Microsoft Edge and do that. I can't. For some reason it doesn't work for me. If it's not work for me, I can use another, another here, another browser, which is a Vietnamese-based browser, not working. So I'm going to use Firefox, which used to be my favorite, favorite browser. Not now, not now. Just want to get into that and then get into this. If it is not working, that means the site has problem, not the browser. Okay, I think the site has problem. Don't worry about that. But anyway, I need a map of where the location. I think I can get the map here. But ah, oh yeah, here. Yeah. There you go. So I have a map here. A scope towards the high resolution four dimension frame. But we need a map here. The map. Basically, this is a map here. Proposed GNSS network. We need another map. Research network. 
not that one. I think that one, maybe helpful. Oh, uh, yes, sometimes this one. But I think this one is helpful. But basically, uh, it's just a paper. They're not working anymore. I need an account to log into that. So that's so complicated. But basically, that comes in handy and helpful here. And also, I have something here in my writing for my research as well, which is here. So this is the Earth Coast Network status update by that from the Landgate uh, Coast Station and then here. So if my survey area is here in Fremantle, uh, then the two closest, maybe, yeah I can show other point, the two closest Coast Space Station is here one and put okay so i can use one of this this is very it's the same location but i think here maybe better is closer and it's along the coast so the maybe the signal is better in terms of the perk but it doesn't matter so i know the name is here one so i want to search for here one i'll go for here one and then i just put it there star from the beginning and the end here and i search for it and i have two station okay some station go here one I can download this and I can use for the post processing I do in Africa leaf or post back somewhere other point which is Perth here as well if I want to so yeah this Perth only two points but that is the way that I can have that one that is one short I can check the other source which is um, the older which is in data FTP GA GOV here. So in this source the same the data I organize daily and I get to the year. But for this data they store only the old data. They don't update the new 2021 data. So we can see that there are so many locations that they store data. Some of them are updated, some of them are not updated. But we know the method now how to access to uh, an, an FTP uh, GNSS course data freely available in Australia and uh, I think that this for this node it's um, it's not very organized but this is for myself and um, I think one day I will need it when I look back for now I can remember it all but sometime maybe five years later for a long time I don't use this I will need it and uh, this is a good way to remind myself